how to wire a new residential construction. Hey guys, welcome back again today. Uh, today we're going to talk about neutrals and bonds in a sub panel and a main panel. So basically here in Canada, now the rules are again a little bit different as to where you are. We need to have all of our neutrals separated from our bonds. And when I mean bond, I mean the bare copper ground wire. So in the US, you'll see in a lot of panels, they have the bonds tied in with the neutrals, which is fine there, but here we have to have them completely isolated. So in addition to that, when we come out of our main panel, we go into a sub panel, uh, we have to have that isolated as well. So the only place where the neutral and the bonds can be connected together is at the main panel source. So this main panel source would have a bonding screw in it, uh, which bonds it through the ground rods outside. Once you come into the main panel, from that point on, you need to isolate all the grounds and the neutrals. So for our final inspection, we actually need to uh, run a mega test to make sure that the neutrals and bonds are separated from the panel onward or the sub panel onward so that we don't get any what we call grounded neutrals. If we get any of those in the house, we then have to correct them to meet code and properly pass. So again, the only place we're allowed to have our neutrals and bonds connected are in the main panel at the main point of connection. Uh, behind this bus bar or behind this cover up here, there would actually be a, uh, a brass copper screw that connects the neutrals to the main ground rod. From this point onward, whether it be a sub panel or a main panel or whatever, we need to have them all isolated. So neutrals only on the neutral bar and then grounds only on the ground bar, which we also call bonds. So we don't bond them to ground. Hope you liked that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and look in the comment section down below. We'll put what we recommend for parts. Thanks and have a great day.